Right, we're recording again. We're with the Harrier again. So, this is her. That center section is missing. This time, the receiver's closed down. That's all in there. That's glued on. This is being repaired. Um, as you can see with the nose, it's um, quite badly cracked and stuff, but after a load of pins, that's done that. It's actually ripped the, um, the servo connections as well out of the wing and pulled them into the fuse. And they got trapped with all the motor wires and everything from the ESCs. I ended up having to just cut and rip a load of stuff out of there to get them so they could pull them back out. So I made a mess of that doing it. Basically, I'm not really bothered about her now. She's in a bit of a state, so normally I probably wouldn't fly a wing that I've only had one flight with before, a new wing, but... Oh! She's trying to fly on her own now. You can see how windy it is. Um, it's supposed to be 20 mile an hour plus. The gusts are probably more. I think I'm gonna have to side launch it. That thing on the middle is just gonna uh, gonna break. Anyway, yeah. So without further ado, let's get this thing in the air again. Half power. I'm using the same battered four cell just in case because if she goes down again she is getting chucked about and yeah I'm using the same battered four cell as I did on the previous flight the, the cells and everything are all balanced I did not put a full charge in as she was down to 3.84 volts per cell so big basically storage charge was what I store mine at 3.85. Um, now is she banking left? Has something gone a bit of a miss, possibly. Yeah, she is pretty quick. <laughs> Fair enough, that was downwind. So, motor's off, upwind. Considering they're 2350kV motors, she's not actually that noisy. blown about though. Flat out. Orientation's a bit. You could definitely do with something on that grey foam in this um, against some grey skies. With her, uh, my crap eyesight. I should have put my shades on.
this is <laughs> on the sort of windy side of safe really. Particularly without a flight stab. If you've got a flight stabiliser to smooth things out a little bit, it makes things a little bit easier. She is getting proper thrown about. Um, I should say that it's supposed to be 20 odd mile an hour winds today, um, definitely gusting way in excess of 20. And seeing as we're high up here, it always seems uh, that's slammed it down, coming down wind. Come on, baby. I'm going to call it a day, I think. Discretion is the better part of valor and all that. It does fly, but it's now getting silly, I'd say that's disgusting, it's sort of 25-30 miles an hour now. Come on, come on, come on, yes! <laughs> Some idiots have had a bar some sort of barbecue or a fire for kids over there. Burnt a great big hole in the grass. The council have gone mad. So I've even I've even kept the same old chip props and stuff. See there, look. It's whacked on the end where it it sort of um, took a chunk. But actually, it's the same receiver. That's, that's not got damaged. So I don't know what it hit when it was that canopy that did that. Whether it hit, um, I think there's a wooden part on the underside. Whether it hit that. But there's a little centre section there that should have been, should have been glued in. It doesn't say in the, in the instructions. Because the instructions come around here shape from the window a little bit. She probably can't hear me. But the instructions are rubbish. Blowing me up. I'll just make this safe now. So I've just rubber banded that on, which is what I perhaps should have done in the first place. Using that same. So that's that's cracked, it's a little bit. Could do with putting a bit of carbon or something into there. But that that would <laughs> believe it or not was fine. So yeah, the same receiver, the the antennas and everything haven't been chopped. So they haven't gone through that. Um, the PDB that I've got the um, ESCs hooked to seems to be fine. I've actually just put a dab of hot glue on that for now before I decide what I'm going to do. My plan was I was going to put the with a wooden bit in. I'm going to put that PDB on the bottom and then do a little stack and put the iNav in. Lift the iNav that I've got pre-built from the Z84 put that in here. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do that now. She does fly nice, but I just don't know if I can be bothered. Mm, who knows, maybe, maybe if somebody comes up with some uh, 3D printed hatches and I can get something over there. My only other thing is to make out of piece of Corex or something and then just fasten it on there and I can just um, either rubber band it with some of them little fasteners into here cut them and hot glue them down or um, goop them down and then rubber band rubber band to hold it down just so it, it closes that but um, yeah, I've got the nose bit as well, I've glued all that, repaired all that, I've no idea whether they'll work. It's not as uh, secure as it was, but 
you can see look where the cracks it's all around there piece it back together I want I wasn't sure it'd go back if I'd got all the bits to be honest but uh, yeah she does fly as you just saw although it does need something in that nose because the, the wind is just rushing straight through there straight through the back that can't be good for the aerodynamics of it that's probably what blew it all off in the first place but to be fair I should have realized I had a chance to land it I didn't and that's what cocked it up and the because it was windy and it's doing well like it is today as in it's blowing down the field um, canopy came off somewhere in the middle over that singular small sort of tree bush and then headed slightly left and down the field and I just never found it I've walked all around the field I've walked in amongst the trees it could could have been in the tree and it might have been blown out today I don't know I can be bothered to go and have another look to see if it's blown out um, I haven't actually walked around the school building I have no idea if it's around there I could do that but yeah that's the only other place I think it could be I did I wouldn't have thought it had gone down that far but you never know so I was on the stood on the middle field there and it was sort of over the back end of the field as it come out of a loop and it, it flung off and then as I headed into the wind back up here obviously I turned, turned around from it to follow the model and then it, it just went out of sight and I never saw it again and then obviously I crashed it as I come into land and then climbed instead of just leaving it letting it land and then quickly going to walk and uh, find the canopy too late lost so this is where we're at at least she's flying just don't know what I'm gonna do with her now who knows I'll have a think <laughs> at least she's not uh, I was gonna just strip her for parts and take the carbon bits out and throw the foam to be honest the only other thought was the these wings which are immaculate they're mint there's not a mark on them um, I was gonna take those join the two halves together cut cut this little seam off and then join the two wings together and make us make a small delta wing and just cut into the foam and mount a battery something in there obviously it would be a single pusher then and I'd have to come up with some sort of motor mount because uh, I don't know if that's thick enough actually to, to mount anything to I'd have to I'd have to fasten something there anyway I think I'll leave that for now right bye bye for now thanks for watching